You're just the cutest. Oh, no, 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 you're the cutest. I'm just trying to stay on top of it and trying to make sure we, um, um, I'm all set up. I can tell you're a teacher because you have that cute toothpick thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I haven't taught in years, but yes, I have a degree in elementary education. But I taught at the middle school. Oh, really? For a majority of the time here. Well, bless your heart because middle schoolers are difficult. So I taught sixth, seventh, and eighth graders, and you know, it's just like, here, teach this this year. It's just like, okay, well, let me see if I can figure this out. So I'm just like, you're on, go. <laughs> Yes. Do you see that um, they extended the 14, three hours ago, they extended the 14 day quarantine? Yes. yes but it did. wasn't Ige, it was Kim. So Ricky's not going to go back to work. Let's, um, let's see, just Amy and Hope. So I want to, um, I'm going to get out of this meeting. meeting. Hi. <laughs> 
Welcome. How are you? Good, good. <sighs> Actually, not good. Oh, just slammed. Just face. Yes. Oh, trust me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear us? Yes. Okay, good. Is it is it loud enough or too loud or not loud enough? Um, it sounds perfect. Oh, good. And um, there you are, right there on the screen. Okay. <laughs> Hannah, just a heads up that I'm I'm still getting used to this um, Zoom meeting. So when you are able to come on, let me know. Um, you know, I'll 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 give you free reign of having you present, okay? Okay, perfect, thank you. Are, are there people on? Yes, we have three other attendees um, that have joined us. Okay. <laughs> I'm really struggling. I am really I'm struggling. Huh? <laughs> um, You're right ready to admit. Yeah. Wait a few seconds. Well. How are you? <laughs> well, actually, I could be doing better. I just looked at the preliminary title report. <laughs> yeah. Did you look at it? Uh, yeah. yeah I already know it's where it's enough. been so far. Yeah. yeah. Here, I just talked to the lady at the title company. She's going to review it. Okay. Yeah. I, I think it would be good to review this. Yeah. I, I, I think we're missing a deed. Which, actually, I we could have gone through and looked and found last deed that was recorded on our report. Let her do the work. <laughs> it's just one thing after another right now. I know, I know the, sell, the sellers like live in Vegas or something, so they've just never tended to tenants or that because, I mean, it, 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 these people admitted that? Because I've rented and so the, their style the of renting is just in and out, in and out. It's like Alex, the tenant, and we went in there and I was like, oh my. Gosh, I'm gonna cry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When Winton was like, I've I've had enough. And I'm like, oh you don't want to see the other bedroom? And he's yeah, like, right I've, now, I've had enough. Kathy can. Um, and then you can unmute if you would like to ask the question and put it in the chat box. Um, so these are the people I know so far. Okay. Hi, hey, Lynn. Hey, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. How's it going? Great. I'll go in from that corner, though, right? I'll go to my spot. That's your spot. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't started there. 
I love that. Hi, Courtney. Courtney. Nice, nice to meet you. you too. Please. Uh, okay. It's ten o'clock. You know, it is Hawaii time. We probably should have talked a little bit more, right? How many do we have on? Hello, come on in. Would you like to get here? Here's a chair. Where is it? Come here. Ronnie's corner. Oh, okay. Ronnie's corner. Go in your corner, Ronnie. There you go. Stay in that corner. Leave that table be now. What? Yeah, table be now. That's the problem. There's Leo. Well, I was just giving it the old, uh, you know, Hawaii time, extra time, so to speak. But we can go ahead and get started. If anybody on Zoom can't hear me, uh, just unmask or unmute yourself. <laughs> unmask. <laughs> yes. Unmask or unmute yourself. Freudian slip. And let me, well, they don't have their cameras on, so technically they would be unmasking, but uh, let's welcome everybody and thank you for being here. We want to welcome some new agents that have uh, joined us here with Keller Williams and we're really excited about having them. Courtney Tromlitz is actually in uh, our office today and Courtney, you want to just introduce yourself and say a few things about you? Um, well, I'm Courtney, obviously, <laughs> um, and I'm super excited to be here. Um, a little experience with real estate in my youngest years because my parents are real estate agents, but I just came here because it was the right fit, so I'm super excited. And where are you from? Oregon. Oregon. Yes. How long have you been on the island? Uh, three years. Three years. And you were in timeshare? Yes. Okay. I was a timeshare person, yes. Okay. No worries. Well, welcome. We're glad to have you. Welcome, Ben. Oh, the coast is yeah. short. Okay. Baron Block also joined us. Is Baron one on the Zoom today or maybe? She's attending the Ignite. Oh, she's an Ignite. Okay. She is also from timeshare. <laughs> And uh, she's not new to real estate, but we welcome her. Kathy Claren uh, has been in real estate quite a while here on the island, and we're super excited to have Kathy here, and I know she's on Zoom. So thanks for uh, joining us on the first team meeting, Kathy. Do you want to uh, say anything or introduce yourself or tell us anything about yourself? Unmute, Kath. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I know some of you. And I'm hoping to know all of you shortly. I just switched over from Windermere. Um, I know Leola and Baron from uh, those years, those dry years when it seems like a lot of us went into timeshare. So we certainly learned how to close. And um, I'm glad to be with Keller Williams. I'm excited. Well, welcome. Thanks, Kathy. Thank you. Uh, Kimberly and uh, Aronoff, is, or Aronoff is with the Hilo office, and uh, we want to welcome her as well. All right, moving on. Looks like we've got some birthdays coming up. Uh, what's today? The sixth. So tomorrow is Bill's birthday, uh, but Bill's online. Uh, so happy early birthday, Bill. Happy birthday, Bill. Happy birthday. And you look amazing, Bill, for 30. <laughs> um, Deb Melvin is coming up on the 8th, uh, Sharuga out of our uh, Hilo office is on the 19th, and Courtney's got a birthday coming up at the end of the month. I'm going to be 32. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> that's, my, that's my business age. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm 33. Yeah. 
seven on the 19th. Okay. <laughs> Your news is on the 19th? Yeah. Okay. Happy we got to get Ronnie out oh, there. Ronnie. Happy early birthday, Ronnie. <laughs> um, so we've got a bunch of Ignite classes, as you can see, coming up here uh, this week. We've got a uh, agent tech training with Zach Younger tomorrow. The rest are Ignite classes. We've got our weekly uh, Monday mindset that happens every Monday for all three islands and the company huddle which happens on wednesday mornings once a week at 8 30. i'd encourage you to jump on that because there's lots of great information uh, that gets shared among uh, the uh, all of the agents and then thursday uh, at 9 30 is the weekly team meeting for helo if you ever want to find out what's happening on the other side of the island all right uh, byocc is uh, bring your own command and coffee um, and so Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 to 11, uh, they do various trainings every week on command for an hour. So if you need something, uh, just plug into, uh, plug into this and, and Robert and Latasha do a great job in cooperation with Marty Miller and uh, we can get you ongoing command training, all right? Andy's got our big update. I just want to thank everybody for being so darn cooperative. There's been quite a bit of business going on, and um, everybody's been very patient. Thank you for the text, um, especially if you're in a hurry. Um, and I try to get to you right away. I appreciate that. Um, just a reminder, and I've gone over this before, but if you could make sure that when you open a transaction, you get it into command, into opportunities, uh, if you didn't already have that open um, within 48 hours. And as you get your documents, please get them into command. Otherwise, we don't have a company file. We don't have any place to follow up. And, um, you know, for any legal reasons, we need to have that information. So I appreciate that. And then I want to change my hat. Um, I am still for a little less than three months president of the what? West Hawaii Association of Realtors. Not that we're counting it down. Not that, not that I'm counting. Not that we don't have a big board in the office. <laughs> right in the day, John. And I am. Um, but I will still be on the board next year. And I want to um, invite the people who are interested uh, in serving on our board to get your applications in. They went out Monday, I believe. And we'd love to see some people from our office on the board of directors. Um, we have six openings at this point. So we, we have quite a bit. And then committees. Um, everybody here needs to participate in a committee. Lisa's on one, Dan's on a committee. We need to get some activity on these committees and we do have some chair positions. So I would really, really, really like to see the strength in the committees coming from our office. Thank you and that's all. Well, I think this is also probably the appropriate place to uh, talk about the elephant in the room. If you haven't already uh, saw this morning's news, it's probably worth uh, making sure that you know that uh, the rest of the state is going to open up on October 15th, except Hawaii Island. Yes. Oh, what? <laughs> For three hours ago. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So um, Mayor Harry Kim asked uh, Governor Ige Vote. To, <laughs> to opt out. He's already out of I know. To opt out of the pre travel testing program, and Governor Ige yesterday granted him his wish. <sighs> so Maui will open to tourism, Oahu will open to tourism, Kauai will open to tourism, and we will not. Um, people coming here will still be required to quarantine mm -hmm. for 14 days. Uh, the mayor's explanation was just he did not feel comfortable uh, opening up the state. I am now convinced that he will not open up the state or open up this island until he leaves office on December 5th. That's, that's my feeling, is that he will not do that. Um, and so who you vote for uh, on November 3rd is going to be critical. And I don't know if you guys watched any of the town hall last night on Facebook between uh, Mitch Roth and Ikaika Marzo, but it was extremely troubling when Ikaika Marzo mentioned that he was going to retain Harry Kim on his staff in a paid position. Wow. 
Uh, so, again, I'm not telling you who to vote for, but vote, vote, matters. vote matters on November 3rd. Um, listen, while everybody that makes everyone sick to their stomach, I think there are um, there's a possibility that he receives a backlash beyond backlash and is forced to reverse his position. Um, there's a, I guess there's a chance of that. Other than that, I think we've got to keep moving forward with the plan that we're not going to see tourism until maybe the end of the year, yeah. the 1st of January. Now, you guys have done an absolutely remarkable job selling real estate with all of the obstacles that this mayor and this state throws at you. Um, and so you're going to have to keep that effort up, uh, apparently. So sorry for that, but that's uh, that's currently where we're at. Uh, that's me. Yeah, yeah, why did you have to say all the bad news while my face was up? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, yeah, you know, the Vic in the office. Oh, Wouldn't that be like Vic information? <laughs> um, okay, so don't forget. <laughs> Got to get your CEs in. There's some people who haven't started. Oh, right? Oh, uh, you got to get the six core A and core B. You got to get the 14 electives. They got to be completed by the 30th of November. Real estate renewals are ready for December 31st. Board dues are due the 31st. I just paid those yesterday. Um, you can check your CEs under my PBL. And um, uh, I'll, if Anita, well, that, I don't even know if Why don't you show, see that show them where to find that? Yeah. So there's like yeah. this. Yeah, we'll just yeah. send this link out to everybody where you can log in and then check and see what your status is on your CE credit. Okay, let me select the license number on the far right hand side where it says RBCE. This is where you see, you can check to see what has. They may not be seeing the screen. Are you guys at home seeing the MyPVL screen? We are seeing the screen, but it's really hard to hear Antonita. Okay, no worries. Mine looks great and I can hear everything. Okay, all right. So this is where you would see uh, under RECE is where you'd see how your credits are, uh, are looking. And then if you go back to one back one screen, Antonita, the way it's been explained to me, and I'm a novice at this, but um, apparently, once the um, the real estate commission goes through and looks at everything, this thing, this green button, will light up for you to go in and renew and pay. Okay. So. Is that? The, excuse me. Is that the uh, state renewal or is that war renewal? Uh, that's the state that's for your, your license. license. Yeah, but usually, don't they send a uh, paper bill also, correct? I'm quite sure they do. Yeah. Okay. And you should have gotten a separate email uh, this past week from Karen Shaw yeah. that had a link in there to do your uh, war renewal. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, back to the slideshow. So, uh, again, just a reminder, I have to read the disclaimer, licensees who do not complete their CEs and renew their license risk their ability to practice real estate in 2021. All right, next uh, slide. So today we're going to do some education on uh, open houses. And um, again, I don't know if you've ever seen this. This comes from the MREA, uh, the Millionaire Real Estate Agent book. And it talks about the seven levels of how to do an open house at a really high level. And the reason why I brought this out was because I took that listing in Alihi Heights and Chris was going to do an open house there last weekend. And I said, let's, let's do this off. Let's kick this off on the right foot. Let's do this at a very high level and let's see how many levels we can get up to, to do the open house. And so if you see level one just says sign in the yard. Okay. Well, most of us can pull that off, right? But level two That's says great. sign in the yard with balloons. We're good. Yeah. Right on. So we can all get to a level two. Level three says sign in the yard with balloons and directional arrows. 
Okay, so we made sure we had enough uh, signs. We made sure we pulled them in from uh, the upper road, right? Uh, and brought them all the way down the hill up the community. So make sure you got enough open house signs. Um, level four is flyers the week before invites and posted on websites. So we went into uh, HIS, we posted the open house. Um, HIS then takes that open house information and syndicates it out to real estate related websites like Zillow and Realtor and so forth like that. However, I would suggest that you go in and check to make sure that your open house gets posted and syndicated out properly. We have found an instance where it didn't get syndicated out properly and we had to man manually make a change or contact support. The other thing about the flyers is we did print an open house flyer. And I said to Chris, we were really successful in Colorado when we walked the neighborhood a couple of days before the open house. And so what I mean by walking the neighborhood is we take 10 houses on the op opposite side of the road. We take 10 houses on the same side of the road. If there are 10 houses behind the house and 10 houses on the other side. So we were really trying to get about 40 homes. That would be the goal. And so we created open house flyers. Chris went and walked the neighborhood, knocked on the doors, and your experience was? Better than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're thinking, gosh, you know, you're walking up to somebody's house with a mask on, you know, and doing their ring doorbell so they see you on the camera, and, and you're thinking, well, they're not going to answer. But several of them answered. Did you leave your gun at home? Uh, no, I had, it, I had it in my waist, <laughs> okay. yeah. So they actually answered the door. They came out, were friendly and talked. I mean, met some really nice folks in the neighborhood. And um, the only one that actually showed up to the open house was one of them that didn't answer the door. But- Did you leave flyer? No, I didn't, no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to litter. So- <laughs> Chris is nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, but everybody else, they took the flyer. I was worried they wouldn't take it, you know, because they didn't want to touch it and all that type, type of thing. But it was really, it was a pretty pleasant experience, to be honest. I mean, the first day I tried to go, um, it was pouring rain, so I didn't go in the rain. But uh, then the next day, the actual morning of the open house, I went, knocked on the doors, and yeah. talked with the neighbors. I, my book uh, almost be better during COVID because people are starved. Yeah, yeah. For, for <laughs> relationships. <laughs> yeah. yeah, when I was in quarantine, I was having the UPS guy come in for lunch. Talk <laughs> <laughs> to see me. Somebody. Yeah. Anyway, it was a better experience than I expected. Okay. Uh, so one of the things that I screwed up on and forgot to tell Chris that we do is that when you walk the neighborhood, um, he ended up talking to the neighbors across the street who ironically are looking to sell because they're gonna move to Oahu. And so Chris took down all of their information and we're gonna get them, you know, get them on a regular drip of what's happening in the neighborhood so we can stay in touch with them. What does the National Association of Realtors say? NAR says from the time a couple or a person starts talking about moving, they do it within nine months. And so you don't know at what point you've caught them in that nine month cycle. Are they in month three? Are they in month six? Whatever the case may be. Um, so as long as Chris has a task reminder in his command, he can stay on top of the people across the street when they're ready to sell. That was really the purpose of walking the neighborhood. I told them there's only two scripts when you walk the neighborhood. Hi, I'm doing an open house. Would you like to come see? Do you have any friends, family, colleagues that you know who might want to move into the neighborhood? Come to the neighborhood. Right? Um, the other script to that is B, this seems like a really hot neighborhood and a lot of people want to move here. Do you know anyone else in the neighborhood that is interested in selling or are you interested in selling? Which is both the scripts that he used that day and of course they stepped up and said, well, we would be interested in selling, okay? So that's the purpose really behind walking the neighborhood and doing the flyers. When you get to level five, you've got the signing in the yard, you got the balloons, you got the directionals, you've got the website advertising, you got the flyers, and it said, and um, you've got go invite the neighbors, okay? So we obviously did that. Level six says, remind everyone with a phone call that morning. What they mean by that on level six is, let's say you advertised it to your database of people, okay? And you sent them an invitation to come look at your open house. What they're saying is, most people say, oh yeah, we're gonna go to that open house and say, they forget all about it. They're saying, go actually call the people that you sent the flyer to and invite them to an open house. 
And then a level seven is hold four other open houses in the area in various price ranges. What they mean by that is sometimes it works better in numbers. And so maybe you would organize some other agents that are in the neighborhood, right? And so somebody from Windermere has one, somebody from Hawaii Life has one, you have one. You call the other agents, you say, hey, let's all open up these homes at the same time. On Saturday, let's see if we can get these things sold. You combine your efforts and, um, and that's how you get to a seventh level uh, open house. All right, don't know if you're doing that currently. Um, we had so-so results on Saturday, uh, not great. Um, and now we're gonna try to do some virtual open houses uh, this week. So we're gonna shift from the in-person we're going to try a virtual. I think we'll probably be going back and forth between uh, the in-person and the virtual to see what type of results we get. So hope that's helpful. <laughs> All right. Uh, Featured properties, eat last campaigns. All right. So uh, as you know, in this month is when we're going to launch our uh, monthly email blast to the Realtor Board. Uh, advertising our feature properties for the office. And this is slated to go out the 22nd of each month to both sides of the island. We would like the email blast to be done by the 20th so we can send a draft to all of you for approval, review and approval. And then once approved, we're gonna send two days later. Um, the 15th, Please note the 15th of the month is when we would like the following from you to be sent to Antonino. A photo of the property, a short description, subdivision, condo names, beds, baths, asking price, square footage, whatever, and a link to the agent's website for more information. What I mean by that is your, um, your listing should be a featured property on your website and we want the link that takes the consumer directly to the page for that uh, particular property. I guess you could just give us your generic one that goes to your homepage, that would work too, but just basically send us the link that you want included. And do you have an example, uh, Antonita? Um, yeah. I have this one, but do you want me to go into the custom one? Custom yeah, if, if, if that might be easier to see that. So um, everybody at home, can you see this okay? Yes. Looks good to me. Let me show you what it looks like on the desktop, and that way you can. So see. we're trying to decide, um, and I'd like your feedback on this. If we should go with, uh, we're going to try nine listings to start. We're trying to decide if we're going to go three across or we're gonna go two and have it be longer. Um, the idea between the, the initial look at, at the three across made the pictures very small. And um, I was thinking that it would look better if the pictures were a little larger. And so in that scenario, we would go just two across. Obviously the, the email would get longer. Um, Here's a sample of the one two across. <laughs> no, not yet. So this is what it looks like two across, and it just gives us a little bit bigger, um, but obviously it makes the email longer. Uh, does anyone have a preference or any feedback on that? That just shows you that it goes to the website. Yeah, it'll go to your website. I like the two across. Two across, two across. Can, um, when I do the marketing um, like this for the SoCal region, um, it's better yeah. to do three across because sometimes if the email is too long, it will cut it off and people won't know to click a bottom and the bottom there's a small text that says view clipped email and they might not know to click that and then they won't see all of the listings. Okay. Oh, That's Hannah, who's going to be coming up in a minute. Go ahead. 
I, I agree with Hannah that I get emails like that that are cut off at the bottom and I do have to click. And, and uh, if something's small, I, I know how to blow it up if I want to see it bigger. Yeah. Okay. Good point. Any other feedback? Will all those listings be available to put, will they be on all of our web pages in addition to our own listings? Will the company listings be available on the web page? Yeah, I'm going to show that next. Okay. Yep. So, all right. Um, if there's no other feedback, if we, we may go three across then just to make sure that they all get seen, even though the picture's smaller. Okay. <coughs> Everybody clear on that when they got to have everything in? Okay. Can you go to my, to a smart plan? So um, when we were rolling out smart plans inside a command, for those of you that got started with us in early January, uh, in February, when I was first teaching on smart plans, there were about a dozen smart plans that were uh, offered by Keller Williams in the library. Okay, so these are all library ones that people could pick up. Since then, uh, Keller Williams has opened up smart plans to the entire company. So an agent in another city in another state could have created a really killer smart plan. And now they offer it up here for you to use as well. You don't have to go recreate the wheel. So to date, there at, there, there's over 400 smart plans now in your library. What started off as 12 is now 400. So you can pick any smart plan you want from up the, it was built and put together by other agents. You don't have to recreate the wheel and, and, and you can use it. So I'll give you an example. Excuse me, Dan, where's the library? Where do I, oh, I, is that the icon right there here that you have highlighted? Uh, go to the top. See up here where it says smart, my smart plans and library. My smart plans. Okay, is what got, it, have. got it, got it, got it. Okay. Library where you can get more, but okay. let's, some of these we already know, but let's look at some of the ones that are offered. So where it says top agents, um, this is, <coughs> so look at this one, for instance, Facebook lead follow-up listing ad email. This is a moderately aggressive lead plan, lead follow-up plan for Facebook ads. These are only emails. We split up your call, email, and text smart plans. What they're basically saying here is, for those of you that are running Facebook campaigns and you're getting a large number of leads coming in, you can tag those leads as Facebook and then you can add them to this smart plan. And what will happen is instead of you spending time calling these Facebook leads that may be cold, instead of you spending time emailing or texting them, just add them to the smart plan and the system will automatically do it for you. The system will reach out to the Facebook leads through email, text, and so forth, and see if they can get them to respond, right? And there's a whole bunch of Facebook uh, smart plans, and you can look at how many days they are, how many steps are in. This Facebook lead smart plan is 21 steps for 23 days, and it touches the client 12 times. Part of the problem with follow-up is that, you know, people don't respond unless you've touched them 12 or 14 times. You just got that kind of time. And, and this now does it all for you, right? <laughs> That's what touches it. Yeah. Um, so if you just hit this arrow down here at the bottom, you'll see more and more and more. Like one of the smart plans up here was to go get a missing phone number. It's called a missing phone number smart plan. So basically you go into your database, you look at everyone that has an email but doesn't have a phone number and you just add them to the smart plan. And then this will keep emailing them, asking them to, to provide us their phone number, right? And it's got her in reverse, right? So you got people with phone numbers, but you don't have people with emails. Well, this will text them and say, can you give us your email address, yeah. right? Um, so look through these smart plans because there is a ton of them and they are all, they're all do something that basically automates your life. <laughs> Remember, technology should only do two things. It either automates your life and gives you your time back, or it makes you money. That's it. Those are the only two things we rely on it for. All right? 
Any questions on that? Okay, next. Command, all right, so command email. Um, yes, command email is now working in each one of your um, command portals. There are glitches. Um, and what we're finding out as we're testing it is that some of the glitches affect some people and not the others. So what I'm asking is, is that you go in and play around with it in the next two weeks before the next team meeting and try to create a email template in designs. Try to create one uh, for a listing, right, hypothetically and try to email it to a couple of people. Send it to me, send it to Andy, send it to Antonita, and try to email it to a couple of people and make sure that you can A, create a list, and B, that you can send it out. For instance, I only usually email to realtors, right? Uh, because we're doing recruiting with it. If I go into my command and I try to create a list of just Hawaii agents, I get an error message. There's something in the coding of my tags with, uh, if I look, if I search tags by agent in Hawaii, there's something in the coding that's giving me an error message and I'm unable to create the list. I sent a support ticket into, um, uh, into KWRI and they're on it. They know it, they know what's going on with it. I've heard some other glitches that are, are, are happening, okay? So basically, I'm asking you to go in and play around with it and break it. Excuse and me. Figure out Excuse what me. problems are you having? Excuse me, Dan. I I did that. We've been my gal and I are working on that. We were able to uh, create it. We were able to get the email. I couldn't get the email to send until I signed up for that nine dollars command email, then I was able to access it and get it to work. But the one thing that's happening when you create the designs in here is that uh, it won't um, populate. It doesn't show our photo, our information, um, and it doesn't show our logo because normally in the design it would be at the top, it would be at the bottom. And um, that is not, it should automatically feed to the design, but it doesn't. And again, we got to figure out if this is just um, a person issue or it's a system wide issue. In other words, my issue with creating an agent list we found out is a person issue. It's something to do with my command. It's not system wide. Um, so we got to figure that out. Um, Robert Eikenberry over in the Maui office created a nice um, email about a new listing that he had. He added a hundred contacts to it. He put me as one of the contacts and he sent it to me on Saturday and it looked very nice. Um, everything was there. So, well, we got to get to the glitches and figure out how to get them solved. Now, the best way to get them solved and solved quickly is to do what I call a loom video. Does everyone know what a loom video is? Okay. You don't have to do this, but I think it's something important that you guys should know about because it'll help you in other areas of your business. But basically, it's a free service and you just download the loom app. And then up at the top of your screen, you'll have a little loom icon. And what you'll do is you'll click loom. And what it'll do is it will turn your camera on your face. See right over here? It'll turn your camera on your face. You don't have to have your camera on. You can choose screen only. But it'll just start video recording your whole screen. And it'll pick up your voice. And so is this one we can play? Good afternoon, Kathy. Antonita here. I am going to be um, showing you how to make sure your email footer has been uploaded and, um, well, and checked. So let me just go in and show you. As you can see on the screen, I've already um, opened up my Gmail 
and I've selected settings. And when you're selected setting up screen all, share, there's a button right down remember, here that where says share audio. The signature. Yeah, sorry. I okay. even went so, so okay. far we'll, we'll, as to actually write something. Um, and I just chose to. You don't have what's to. Going on. So what I did was write um, um, it's very, at the very cursor. I basically enter, download I, it. Um, so I put an enter button in the right corner. there. You click it. It's and then I just type a logo. You want to record with and your I camera even and went screen, so far as to add a little bit just more. Your screen. That's totally and up to you. You don't have to. I can't hear both at once. Can one of them get turned off, please? The icon that says select image. We can hear the video on our end. Select the uh, but at home users can. And that's okay, stop that. I, I hear, I'm hearing two, two at once. Okay. Sorry. Thank you for that. Um, so anyway, what's happening is, is that you can actually um, just start showing people what the problem is. Now, what I find is, is that when I send in a ticket to KWRI on your behalf or for myself, and I attempt to describe the issue, it doesn't get resolved really quick. And that's because they don't either A, understand what I've described, or B, they don't, they're not able to replicate it where they're at. But when I send in a Loom video of what's happening on my screen, I find that the problems get solved really quick because they can take the Loom video and they can send it directly to the web developer and the web coder, and they can see exactly what's going on, and then stuff gets fixed quick. I, I um, followed the directions um, and that video that Antonita just shared again and put my footer on and added it and it worked for a day and now it's gone. So I don't know if that's because I'm being integrated with Scott's system and he's doing it, but it's not on my emails any longer. And I, I did it exactly as instructed. And I noticed okay. it's not on my emails again. Well, when you're in tomorrow, we'll get that straightened out for you. Okay. All right. So this is just, again, if you're having technical issues, you don't have to do this, it helps. Um, and again, whether you're having technical issues with us or somebody else, you're trying to show, even if you're trying to show your bank or something what's going on, this would be a great uh, way to do it. So if you have any questions about Loom video and how to record your screen, uh, let me know, we'll happy to walk you through it. And basically when you go to send your Loom video, you just hit copy the link over here. It's coffee. Open up. You open up an email and you paste the link into the email and then that takes them back to this page where they can view. I think you could use it with clients too, maybe going over some of the documents that you know you want to sure, yeah. or um, to show them how to use DocuSign, mm -hmm. um, how to do electronic signatures. Mm -hmm. I think it could be really cool. Yeah, it's great as an instructional video. You, mm -hmm. you can absolutely do that if you're trying to walk somebody through something. So that's command. Um, the KWRI Big Island website, it is, we're still working on it with Rebecca, and we've made some progress. So if we go up here to explore, and we click meet our agents, scroll down a little bit, keep going. Now you'll see a new button that says my listing. Right, so somebody, a consumer is into the website. They are looking for a particular realtor or they're looking for, um, so Brody doesn't have any listings. It's got to contact me, go back, click Shiaki. Yeah, so scroll down. So here's, here's Shiaki's um, listings and people can click on the listings themselves and find out more information about all of her listings. So I anticipate that we'll probably have this done either by the end of the week or by the first part of next week. Um, the next piece of the puzzle is now that we've got all of your listings connected with you um, as you know, in, in here, the next piece of the puzzle is to go back to the home page and have the consumer search um, it will be a big box right across here. It'll say find your dream home or whatever. And they'll be able to type in here a city, state, zip code, school, neighborhood, something to that effect. And they'll be able to just search for listings here on all of the islands. Okay. Um, so how those quick, are really the, 
Yeah. And how would somebody just generally searching for a listing and then say they find a listing and they're looking for an agent, how would, how would they, how would we get that lead or whatever? So if it came through here um, and they were just typed in uh, your listing in CASA and they were looking for that, your, your, your listing would pop up from the IDX feed. It would say listing courtesy of Carol Ann Von Haig Keller Williams Realty. And then they could contact you, okay? Um, but every listing that somebody searches for, it will list who the agent in the office is. Okay, so what if somebody doesn't, you know, is looking not necessarily for the listing agent, they find a listing and they're looking for an agent. How would that work? Well, that's really up to them. They can go back to meet our agents and try to select one of you uh, based on your bio, based on your picture, based on whatever. Um, but I don't, I don't know how they would, uh, you know, uh, I guess the answer well, your makes question sense. makes sense. Yeah, I guess the best way to, to ensure that is market you and market your website and drive traffic to you in your website. Um, and maybe, you know, that would be the easiest way to make sure we were getting more leads to you. Questions about the Big Island website? It's exciting. Exciting to see that we've yeah, it looks great. Able to then recapture. So anybody clicks, it's just like you can get it focused on you again. So that's that's huge. That's a big game changer. So by this time next week, this website will have all of the same features of any other website. By that matter, uh, who our agents are, how they get in contact with you, what your listings are their ability to search for listings, um, how to contact you and get in touch with you, all of that. Yeah, Dan, if it's not a Keller Williams, because you're saying they can just do a basic search and I feed. Mm -hmm. So if it's not a Keller agent listing, it will still show courtesy of. Courtesy of okay. Leanne Flem, Windermere, whatever the case may be. Uh, how right? about some photos of the big island instead of Oahu on there? Uh, we, we can change it if you want. Do you need, do you need photos? Do you need photos? Yeah, you need photos. Yeah, I mean, some of them are generic, like the palm I trees. I mean, Hawaii is Hawaii. You want to grab their attention with color. In the, in the water. I mean, if that, I mean, if we need to swap it out, we can swap that out. Uh, that one right there is the one that just seemed like it could be, I, I thought it was going to be, um, our valley, but it, it, it wasn't anybody, but it was Oahu, so it's just the ones that are recognizable. So the generics are great. Okay. I have a lot of really nice photos if anybody, if you want well, them. Great. Yeah, absolutely. Share them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we were, I was talking to the video guys this week. As you know, I'm working on a project to try to get you guys video at a much cheaper uh, and more affordable price. And one of the things I suggested to them is that they get their drone and they get it all over the island as quickly as possible and just start taking photos and video of places all over the island. They have some of it already. Uh, they have Polalu, they have YPO Valley, they have Hapuna, and uh, that's all stuff that we'll be able to access uh, if they come on board, all right? Next. So we'd like to have a Christmas party. <laughs> uh, that, that, that's the idea. And uh, we're talking about it right now. Um, we've got two plans. Uh, and the plans are obviously based on what the state, the county, is going to allow us to do. Uh, the first plan would be obviously to rent out some type of nice restaurant on the water, uh, open air, where we could all gather and have dinner and cocktails and merriment, right? Um, that would be option one. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna happen. We're gonna have to figure that out as we get a little bit closer. Option two would be to do something that would be outside um, and we were thinking like uh, that would give us social distancing, that would be out in the open air, that would give us space, 
And we were thinking like up in Halua Loa. Um, Inn. The yeah. Halua Loa Inn has got that big outdoor pavilion. I don't know if they're renting it, uh, but Antonita's going to look into it. And maybe the idea is to have something there that has a little bit more of like a barbecue flavor, uh, where we could play some games and we could hang out. And uh, that would be like earlier in the day or even something on a Saturday. Uh, depending on, you know, everybody's availability. Uh, about, about like a sunset, like cocktail poo-poo hour from like 5 to 7.30 at uh, one of our listings that's vacant, you know, that has a nice lanai, whatever, like a nice high-end listing. That's a possibility. Um, so if somebody uh, has that, you know, has that as an option, a listening on the ocean or something. Uh, mine, mine, is, uh, mine is rented, so I can't, it's occupied at the moment, so I can't offer ours. But, uh, Not that one? The 17? No, it wouldn't be real. So, you know, uh, just some thoughts. I'm open to suggestions. We probably are going to have to make a decision here relatively soon. I would say by the end of the month and put one of the plans in place, I had said to Antonina, go ahead and reserve a restaurant and just figure out what our cancellation uh, policy would be with the restaurant in the event that, you know, the, the government doesn't cooperate. How many people would there be? Well, I'm guessing that, you know, if we've got uh, 30 plus agents and everybody brought their spouse, I mean, or, or you know, significant other, I think it's gotta be at least 70. You know, 70 to 75 people. And so you'd have to have an area big enough to do 70 or 75 people. Yeah, up, upstairs at Lava Java. That's pretty cool. That, that upstairs at Lava Java is a consideration. Yeah. How about the, res, the, the restaurant at the Monolani Beach Club? Yeah, that would be great. Um, Sunset, there's beach area, there's outside dining, you know, um, that could work. Yeah. Put that down, Antonina. Let's call them and see what they're what they're up to. Monolani Beach Club. Monolani Beach Club. Yeah, I played there not so long ago. Yeah, we're open. We're open to anything, and I can just uh, investigate more, reach out to whoever I need to. Okay. Next slide. Okay, Hannah, you are finally up. Hannah, thanks for hanging out as long as you did. Um, <laughs> Hannah is with Aloha Real Estate solutions and you've been hearing me talk the last two meetings that we are going to start rolling out um, free marketing uh, for you guys as agents so when you come aboard and you have a listing uh, Hannah is going to offer a listing package of services that she does uh, at no cost to you and then some other services that are a la carte that are super super cheap and so Hannah, I'm going to turn it over to you and you can start showing everybody what it is that you're going to have to offer here in, we're going to try to roll this out in about, you know, by the third or fourth week of the month. All right. Thank you, Dan. Um, yeah. So actually, before I get into that, I'd like to give you a little background of who I am. Um, so obviously I'm Hannah Ordonez. Um, I've worked with Keller Williams for a few years now. Um, I started it on the, uh, Island of Oahu with the Honolulu office. I've been their marketing director for about two years. Um, I've worked with all of the islands, the KW market centers on the islands um, for all three years uh, as an operations manager. I work with Colette Ching, who um, is the OP for the offices. So I'm pretty well rounded in KW marketing, KW command, um, and marketing in general uh, for the agents. So if you have any questions, I'm very familiar. This is a new business, but I've been doing this for quite a while. Um, so don't be afraid to ask questions. Um, Antonia, if you can let me share the screen, that would be awesome. Okay, let me, uh, so stop sharing. I'm doing that. There you go. You have to go down to share screen and hit the arrow. This one? No, nope, the arrow next to it, the arrow. This arrow can drop down yeah. Yeah, and say multiple participants can share. Okay, you're good to go, Hannah. Thank you. All right, can everybody see that? 
Yes. Okay, let's do full screen. So um, this is a, a draft that we have, um, whoops, there we go, right now. So some of these things might change. Um, like Dan said, we're rolling out in the next few weeks. Um, so some items could change. There could be things added, some things taken away um, or put on a separate package. Um, so this is not the final thing. Um, I'm not taking any orders just yet, but you will be notified immediately once we are taking orders. This is just to get this in the back of your mind. So you know if you have any listings coming up to keep us in mind and we can help you out. Um, so through the listing package that would be free for all of the KW Realty Big Island agents are um, a digital listing flyer, digital for sale graphics, digital open house graphic. Um, we'll post the digital graphics to your social media if you want us to. Um, we'll email the listing flyer to whatever list you want to send to, whether it's a CRM or the board, or if you just have a specific neighborhood you want to send to. Um, and then we'll also um, send the listing to the local real estate board, as well as feature the listing on the brokerage social media pages. Um, so we have an a la carte menu. If there was something you wanted to go in and just get one thing, you didn't want the whole package. Um, so that's all right here. And then if you don't mind, I'll go ahead and scroll through to some of our graphics so you can see some of the examples. Um, so all of our open house uh, and for sale graphics can be um, switched. So if you want, liked this, but you wanted it to say for sale instead of um, open house or you're invited, we can do that. We can change the colors, um, whatever you'd want to do. If you want to move some stuff around, we can do that for you. Um, so we have the Facebook sizes. Um, some more for sale social media graphics. Once again, they can be switched around. Um, we have a yeah. ton of different flyer options. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not seeing any changes on the screen. I'm still looking at the listing marketing menu. Oh, really? Um, have you started speaking to the example? Yeah, I did. That's funny. Here, let me get out of here. Maybe stop screen share and then re 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 reshare. Yeah, let me try that. Sorry, technical difficulties. No worries. All right, let's try this again. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay, now scroll. Okay, yeah. perfect. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so here's um, all of our open house social media graphics that we have at the moment. Um, like I said, these can be interchanged. Um, these are the Facebook layouts. So we have two different sizes. So if you wanted just like the Instagram size and to post that onto your Facebook, that's not a problem at all. Um, whatever size you want, we have a ton of different options. Um, Here's some of our flyers that I was talking about. Um, then we have postcard options. Um, so those are all right here. They, we have a ton of different front options and then we have the back options as well. So you don't have to pick, um, like you don't have to pick them as a set. You can pick whichever front you want and whichever back you want. And then these are our current market snapshot social media graphics. Um, so we can do any neighborhood that you'd like um, and any one of these graphics. Cool. Hannah, a uh, quick question, Antonita here. Regarding postcards, how do you, um, do we need to send you the mailing list or, or do you just send us the postcard and we mail it? Um, can you explain that? Sure, that's a great question. Thank you. Is? Yeah, um, so right here, this is the postcard graphic and mail. Um, so that is a $25 service. So we will create, you, all you need to do is give us the listing information. We will create um, the postcard for you front and back. After you review it and you approve it, we will send it to whatever list you want, whether it's um, just like a local area from where the listing is, like a hundred houses within that area. If you wanted to send it all of uh, to all of your CRM, we can do that. Um, if you wanted to have your title company pull a list for a certain neighborhood for you, whatever list you'd want, um, we can send it to them for you. 
And are we billed for the postage? I'm sorry? We're billed for the postage? Yes, so this, the $25 fee is for us to design the postcard for you with as many revisions as you need, and then for us to get the lists for you and send them out. Um, down here it has um, the postage, how much it costs for the postcard and the mailing together. Um, so four by six is 59 cents, a six by nine is 79 cents, and then a six by 11 is um, 89 cents. Um, so and go ahead. And, and you would um, like pull the list for an area, like either a circumference, like a five mile radius, or just a specific neighborhood, or however we designate that to you. And mm -hmm. then yep. you'll have them ready. And then um, will you mail them out and, and we get billed for the postage? How does that work? Yes, yeah, so we'll, um, this will be an online platform. Um, so after you've picked which neighborhood you want and which postcards you want, then everything will build through that will be built through that online platform. So you can just upload a credit card or a debit card, That's whatever you want. That's great. Um, yeah, so that the when we do the launch of the business, it will all be online. So it's really easy and something really great that we haven't really dived into much yet. Um, because I know marketing is such a big thing for your business. Um, is Aloha Real Estate Solutions, we're, we're envisioning that to be a one-stop shop. So um, all of the market center calendars are, will be on there on the launch for all of the KW uh, islands. So you can go on there and attend any of those classes that are on that calendar. We'll have all of the, our preferred vendors on there, um, any transaction management on there, and you can do everything for your business all in one place. So this will slowly be rolled out, um, but that's our vision for um, for your business, anything you need, you can find through the website. So I, I have, um, I'm gonna have three listings coming up at once in three different areas up here on the Kohala coast. Mm -hmm. So when I, it will last new listing or just sold or whatever, and then I could hit those areas um, with mm -hmm. postcards, like mm -hmm. a listing postcard. And yep. I, I, wanna, I wanna give a word to the agents here on, on mailings so remember two things it's probably best to get your list from your title rep okay as opposed to having command or or hannah do a a search the reason why i say that is because you've got to determine if you're mailing into a neighborhood of primary residence or you're mailing into a neighborhood of secondary homes so what would be the difference um, if you're mailing into Huala Live Vistas, that's all primary homes. Chances are the, the, the subject property is also the mailing address. It's, it's one in the same. And if you're mailing into Hali'i Kai, and, uh, and those are primarily all second homes, all of those owners live on the mainland. In which case, you're going to be mailing these postcards to their mailing address on the mainland and not the subject property address. When you get the list from the title companies, they give you both, right? You'll get the property address as well as the mailing address back on the mainland. And so that's why I say get the list from the title companies, provide those to Hannah, just indicate to Hannah if you want the postcard to go out to the property address or you want the postcard to go out to the mailing address, it'll make her job a lot easier and away we go, all right? Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yep. Dan, was there anything else you Any wanted questions? to go over with this? No, you did great. Any any other questions for Hannah? Yeah. So new service only for new listing? What about the existing listing? So if they've got an existing listing, Hannah, and they haven't done some of this stuff, can you do that for them? Um, I think once we launch, we'll have a little bit more of a clear defining um, outline of what we'll be able to do. Um, I would love to be able to do that, um, but I still have to discuss that uh, with our team just to make sure that's okay. Um, as I said, we're rolling out in a couple of weeks, so we'll, there will be a lot more details coming your way um, of the, the gray areas of listings that are already there or if we're only going to be taking on new listings. Well, we, we've got basically Hannah doing this for multiple offices, and I, my, our fear is that she's going to get overwhelmed quickly. 
And so we're trying to ease her into this, you know, sort of like an old man into a tub, just slowly. <laughs> Yeah, there's a ton of stuff we want to be able to offer, um, but we just want to get our toes a little wet first and see how it is and then slowly roll those things out. So um, thank you, Dan, for saying that. But um, yeah, I'll definitely get back to you on exactly that policy. Thank you. Any other questions for Hannah? So again, it's just a, an opportunity for us to take our game to a higher level. Right. Uh, we want to make sure when you guys do the hard work and the lead generation of getting a listing, we want to make sure we're marketing it and marketing it well. And the market center is footing the bill for that uh, to help you guys be successful. So it puts us on a, uh, an as I said before, an extremely high competitive edge over our competition, because not only can we offer the marketing at no cost, but you can continue to do business here at a fraction of the cost that you would at another brokerage firm. Anna, thanks so much for hanging in there through the whole team meeting today. You probably got yeah. more information than you wanted. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. And if you have any input or anything so you'd like to see, I I'd love to hear it. All right, we appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, back to the Kelly. Uh, yeah, Kona team meeting. Nope. All right, next screen. So September, let's take a look at what happened in September. Uh, pretty good month again for profit share, another month of 26,000. So if you, again, uh, sponsored somebody and they were in production in the month of September, uh, you'll be getting a check. Uh, on the 21st of, uh, of this month. So coming up, congratulations to all those up to. So the year to date, uh, we've shared $127,000 uh, back to uh, KW Associates as a thank you for helping us grow the company. Um, these are our stats. Uh, and again, continues to be pretty consistent and you know it, it continues to be pretty good despite all of our obstacles. Uh, in September, we had seven agents and nine properties on the listing side for 3.6 million. On the sell side, eight agents were involved with eight properties for 3.2 million. So 15 agents in production and 17 properties for about 7 million. Um, inventory as it stands now, we've got 19 agents with 70 properties <coughs> for sale between uh, Kona and Hilo for a total value of 44 million. And in September alone, we took 18 new listings. So well done. Yeah. Congratulations, guys. Six million dollars. If you ever want to know what they are and who's listing them and what the values are, then this uh, sheet is always available here from Antonita. Just ask for it, and she'll provide uh, it to you. And you can kind of see who has what and what type of production and where it is and all that good stuff. All right. These are closings that happened in September. You can see who the listing agent was, who the buying agent was, what the price was, what it, you know, all that good stuff. So this is, you know, as, as, I, as I've said before, we're an extremely transparent company. Anything you want to know about uh, the company or its finances is always available uh, that you can ask for at any time. Okay, agent needs and wants. I need the state to be open. Yeah. <laughs> we can't account that problem. I'm sorry. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Any other age you want and needs? Am I the only one here? No. no okay. All right. We're good on agent wants and needs. Okay. Going on. Oh, anyone, does anyone have a new listing first? Does anyone have a new listing coming on that we don't know about? I have three listings coming on, but I'll talk to you about all that tomorrow. Okay, sound good. Anybody else? This is Layola. I have a new listing coming on. It's in Coloco on three acres. Um, it's a newer home built in 2015. 
uh, two bedrooms, two baths with a loft, but the loft was actually supposed to be a bedroom. They just didn't build it out to be the bedroom, but it could be. Um, with permitted plans to build a garage and an ohana. Um, list price on that is going to be $939, and that should be listed by the end of the month. Okay. What's your elevation on that? Do you know? Yeah, it's lower to mid Coloco. I don't know the exact elevation. It's um, off of, it's in between the first and second how. Okay. I have a need. I've got a client that really wants to be in Kona Vistas. And I've seen everything that's on the market. They want a three bedroom, two bath. They'll go up to a million. Um, could potentially be persuaded to go over a little over a million. But if you know of anything that's coming up in Kona Vistas at about a million, that's a three bed, two bath, uh, please let me know. They're ready to go. All right. Uh, all right. Anything? Anybody want to tell us something good? We had the bad news today. So <laughs> is there is there good news today? Uh, um, we're all here. We're alive. We're healthy, and we're kicking. Okay. Friday mornings, I've been paddle boarding on a Kaho Bay, and uh, I've been paddle boarding with the dolphins, and I. Get out there about 6 37 in the morning it's nice oh by the way there's a tiger shark that lives in that bay i don't know if you knew this yeah lives in Kaho bay oh well, yeah you're right my, my, my volleyball buddies were played volleyball and then they went out on kayaks and they seen it just cruised by their kayak yeah yeah she it's a she it's a female she lives there every morning and the people at the Tanuka have named her laverne laverne so when I was going out for the very first time, I, people were coming in. They said, oh, Laverne's in the bay. Don't let her scare you. I'm like, okay. I heard Laverne, yeah. but that's at the harbor. Yeah, at the harbor. Right. Well, apparently her territory is Keoho to Four Seasons. That's her territory where she goes up and down. So I have a native, a native Hawaiian yeah. friend in, in his uh, mid to late 70s. And when he was a young man, he was asked to paddle a canoe of a, a Hawaiian auntie who would call the fish for he and the other young guys, um, you know, to, to get food for the families. And one day she had him paddle out and uh, to uh, uh, right where a shark, they met a shark, she scraped the barnacles off it and fed it. I don't know what's going on with the sharks lately. I was at Hapuna on Saturday and they closed the beach again because there was a shark. I'm like, wow, if it's not the governor, it's the sharks that are closing the beach. I can't wait. <laughs> All right, anything else? Well, that, that's something good, right? The beach is open on October 1st. So that's something good. For the longest time. Let's pray they stay that way. So is, is Inner Island open or? Is Inner Island is not open. And it's not going to be open because they don't want people flying in with a 72-hour test, landing in Oahu, and then coming over to the big island. Whatever. <sighs> they can go to the other islands. They can fly direct to the other islands and stay there. Well, I heard that if they don't leave the airport, if they, really? if they fly to Honolulu, if, as long as they don't leave the airport, they can fly to another island. Well, they can't come here. <laughs> read this All right. I think that's it. Uh, we went a little over, not too bad. But thank you, everybody. And again, I'm always available. I'm mostly I'm here most days, and you know my number. So let me know how I can help. All right. And thank you. Everybody, wait. Okay. Thank you. I know we wanted good news, but Eddie Van Halen died. <gasps> oh my gosh! Are you kidding? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, there's a stop news you're getting closer and closer to this year being over. <laughs> uh, exactly. It's going to be much better. Hopefully, we don't go into communism. So. Yeah, right. Thank okay. you all for attending. Thanks, and everybody. And thank you, are everybody. you running off? Thank you. Hello, are you running? Do you, are running no, thank you for the I do have a question on Facebook ads. Facebook ads oh, and okay. the compliance portion. Oh, okay. Sorry to get myself confused there. Just
just real quick. Hey, do you do do you do the Facebook ads? Have you done lots of them? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we already have numbers on the side.